Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Centen is back for business. Where is this? Feel me? <clears throat> I'm here, man. It's not that cold, but you know. It's a little chilly. I got a running nose. It's a little, it's a little chilly. It's not that bad. The sun is out. Walking to work. Usually I record a little earlier than this. But today, a lot of things happened already. And my day didn't even start yet. Today's supposed today's supposedly Veterans Day. Feel me? I didn't even know that. That's honest number one. I didn't know today was Veterans Day. I really didn't know that. So, I'm thinking it's a regular bus schedule and everything else. I went to go check on my bus. I mean, not to go check on my, I took my, I went to go take my bus, feel me? The first bus, everything was fine. Came, the time was supposed to come and everything. If anything, it came on time. <laughs> I had to run for my bus once again. So, the second bus, I'm giving you a rundown. This is a rundown how my day have been so far. Feel me? It's not the best start. So, the second bus. What's the joke, my G? You're not going to climb over there. I guess because I said somebody driving slow behind me, he want to take the initiative to do the same thing too because he want to be down. Nigga can't beat himself. Anyway, man. Nigga was driving, man. It's slow creepiness. I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? Some people just, they wake up early for you to argue with them. Anyway, yo, bro, get back to the story. I digress. So the second bus, right? Um, I got there. I didn't see my bus there. I'm like, it was a joke. I see other buses still running. I'm like, it was a joke, and I'm mad. You know, I'm going off. I'm like, fuck, man, niggas gotta stop hating. Da da da. I say all that stuff. I checked the bus schedule. It says that I'm supposed to. It says, I mean, I've been taking this bus for a while now, so I know where it's supposed to be. So I couldn't understand why it's not there. Then it said no holiday sir, no buses on holidays, no holiday service. Basically, simply said. Um, I'm like, damn, yo. These bus drivers see me every day. Feel me? If y'all see me every day, you see me taking that shit with you every day. At least you could have informed me about that. But that was my fault. Feel me? I gotta take every day as a new day. I can't just assume. Feel me? So. I'm like, damn, bro. I was like, really fucked up. I'm like, damn, I don't even know. I'm trying to, I really didn't think I had money. I'm like, fuck, man, how the fuck I'm gonna get to work now? So, because I wasn't planning on that. I bought a 60, a six, and I bought a, oh, I said 60. I bought a 60, yeah, 60 day Metro car, well, not Metro car, I bought a 60 day bus pass. So, I've already budgeted and set myself already, you feel me? I'm like, fuck, yo, because the bus ain't going to come. Like, I mean, it's not going to come. It's not working. <laughs> it's just not working. I'm tight, bro. Like, shit going from okay 
to not okay. I'm like, fuck, yo. Check my account. I'm like, let me see if I can take a cab. When I got checked my account, my shit was... It went from not okay to worse. Like, I seen overdraft fees. Because I, I usually have my investment take money out automatically. My shit was just at a negative. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Stress. And that's all this morning. <laughs> like... And this is all this morning. I'm like, damn, yo, I can't get a break, bro. I'm like, I can't. Hold on, yo. Let me tell you the rest of the story. Yeah, I'm walking right now, it's getting hot, so you know how that go. Anyway, man, I'm just... So, I checked my account, she said negative, I'm like, God damn. So luckily, I had another account. So, long story short, I took the cab. I had to, you know what I mean? I was mad because I had to pay for it. So <laughs> of course, you gotta pay for it. But I had, that's how I even made it here to this environment that y'all always see me in delica delicately walking to work. That's why I'm, I'm still on time. I'm like an hour early now instead of the hour and 30 minutes. But situations like this, that's why I always leave early and still try to make it. But yeah, man, I had to transfer money over to from one account to another just to cover up the, the differences in overdraft fees. I took a loss on that. I ain't even gonna lie, it was a lie. I was not paying attention to it. You feel me? See why people was acting the way they was acting like they had a victory. And I'm like, yeah, what's the joke? What, what is the joke? What am I not understanding? So my shit would have said, my shit is at a negative. <laughs> yeah, you know, like my shit is at a ne 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 negative. So I'm gonna have to send more money over, honestly. Like, I have to just, just stop being selfish and just, you know, pull out and just sit one time over and just start all over instead of just doing the drip by drip type shit. Going drip, 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 ice on the red, I like the red, but I ain't worried, man. I'm not even close to being worried yet. But yeah, these are the things that, you know what I mean, I got to encounter. These are the things that I got to deal with on a regular basis, you feel me? And a new year even start, yeah. Man, yo, shit crazy out there. Even when I double check back and make sure. For the week, I always check what money's going where. So I'm like, ah, right, this is how much money I got in there. This is what it's, you feel me? But even that, it's just sneaky fees. Like, that shit is crazy. And it's just the beginning of the month, so a lot of monthly fees come out. So I understand now, you feel me? But all that shit is hopefully taken care of. I'm gonna have to send some more bread over just to be on the safe side. Then I went in the store. I try to go in one store that I usually go to, feel me? Get it from my Mexican lady, feel me? The one that always look at me with the mean face. 
Every time I walk in there, she always look at me with the meanest face ever. <laughs> she, she like, I'm like, hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? And she finally cracked a smile after the whole, after we go through the whole transaction. She get used to me for that day. Then the next day, I got to re-charm her again. It's crazy. Mean. She just mean by nature. She's a nice lady. But when I went in there, when I went in there, there was too many people in the store, and it's like, you want to stand six feet back? Some niggas don't know how to follow those rules. So I'm like, you know, this store's too small for me to stand six feet back and have this person here. So I just left. I usually go in there when it's not that many people in there, so I can have my chance to be relaxed and free instead of worrying about the next nigga on my back type shit. You feel me? Because my situation different from others. But... Yeah, I always got to watch myself. So, I left. I went to McDonald's. Like, I know I said I wasn't going to go to McDonald's, but I went to McDonald's. By the way, this is a rundown. I'm just ranting about my morning so far. So, from that place, I didn't get nothing. So I just left the store. I went to see what McDonald's got for me. I went there. I knocked on the door because, you know, they don't want you to come in. They, you got to order from the door, even a, like you a drive through but they got like a little screen door where you can order from. And I just, vibe-wise, I couldn't, I didn't feel it, but I still needed something. So I'm like, y'all shouldn't even be here. I'm like, you know what? I looked across the street, there was another food market over there. I went to that place. I guess they was expecting me to go to McDonald's. So when I decided, like, now nah, I don't want McDonald's, and I crossed the street, all of a sudden they put the siren on. Wee, 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 wee. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all niggas ain't do none of that shit when I went when I tried to go into Yum Yum, my regular spot. Good baby, you still pretty man, but you got an ugly intention. These bitches be looking good with a lot of envy and ugly intentions. It's like, damn, why the... That's why... That's why beautiful doesn't cut it no more, man. Being beautiful is not enough no more, man. That's another subject. Because sometimes the most beautiful people have the ugliest behavior and attitude and intention. I'm like, yo, my nigga, you don't look in the mirror. You should look in the mirror and feel good every day. Like, what's wrong with you? You feel me? But, yeah, man, you know how that shit go. So, what happened? Let me speak on it. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, I, I went across, I, well, I went across the street to the next door, and that's when the sirens and everything else came from. Wee, 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 wee. I'm like, fuck, yo. I'm like, yo, what's the problem? Nah, y'all didn't put the sirens on when I was going to McDonald's. I guess that's why they wanted me to go all that time. Cause that's why they had so many people in the other store. It was pushing me to go to McDonald's. So I was glad I went in with that vibe. But when I went to this other store, telling me the coffee machine is not working, trying to push me right back into that place where I'm like, damn. I'm like, nah, it's okay. So, uh, I took like two snacks. I'm like, let me just put something in my stomach. Even if it's nothing, it, it gets me where I need to be, feel me? At least I'm munching or something now. I mean, it helps me out a little bit. I don't like eating too much in the morning time, so. So that being said, I try to use my card and it's a decline. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going crazy now because remind you, I got all these other fees that I, I had I had to transfer money over. So I'm like, fuck, yo. And I ain't even finished transferring money over because it needs more money in there just to have a nice balance on it. So I'm like, damn, yo, I'm really going through it this morning. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's see. Um... I'm like, well, is it because I put in the wrong pin number? Ask the lady. She's smarty, she's smart. Both of them, they was like twins. One was big and small. <laughs> no, not big and small. They was just big and small. <laughs> There's two Spanish. They was like, no, it says 
decline. Yes, decline, nigga. I'm like, oh, I, I, and that was cool because I was already on this the rest and stress of like, you know, I'm thinking like, fuck, yo, the day just started. Feel me? I already spent forty dollars on a cab. I had to transfer two hundred dollars over to another account, so I'm already down the whole two hundred forty dollars. I'm like, I'm stressed, nigga. I didn't even, bro, I didn't even plan to spend not a dollar. So I'm like, fuck. But I still need something to eat, so I'm like, all right. I had to use my other card too. So I'm like, all right, let me just, let me see how much money I got on this card. Luckily, that shit went through, so I was good for that. And it's like, okay, would you like your receipt? I guess they didn't expect me to have money. In. It, it, it was expecting me to put that product back. <laughs> that shit went through. <laughs> that shit was funny to me. The expression on their face and the way they said it. So I'm like, and that's what I was like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll take the receipt. I appreciate it though. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, it's too early to even concern myself with that. So I just walked out candidly. But I still needed some coffee. So I'm wondering why did my car, in the back of my mind, I'm wondering why the fuck did my car decline? I'm like, damn. So I went to the other store. I'm like, right, let me get um, a pour, you know, you pour the coffee, coffee in the cup and everything. Ain't no turning back. Once you pour the coffee in the cup, you put sugar in there and everything. Like, you got to pay for that. Or you got to pour it out if you ain't got the money. So I'm like, right, let me use the card that just work. This nigga is my favorite. So let me use that nigga. So went to the register, put it in. Another decline. I'm like, oh shit, today's not my day. Man, niggas online. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is embarrassing, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's crazy. All this time, I'm getting notification on my phone. I'm like, I didn't give a fuck about the notification. I'm trying to figure out how to pay for this thing. They stressed out. I'm like, all right, fuck it, man. All right, so I took, uh, luckily, man, that's crazy. I had $2 in this pocket right <laughs> it was just two dollars it was the, the the coffee was 206 i had two dollars and five cents luckily just sitting there i don't even know how that nigga got there i seen it this morning i thought it was a dollar so i'm like oh yeah i should have some so i check in there it was two exactly 206 205 so lady let me slide because it was like about to be a, a currency issue of all the people online waiting in that small store so i appreciate that so I'm like, fuck, yo. So I was happy to get the coffee in my hand. I walk out the store. My alarm also came on, so I really had to look at my phone. I checked my phone. I always got the alarm more. It keep me active. It keep me awake. It's half of the time. I don't know what kind of drug I'm underneath. Because I be falling asleep without even knowing. Feel me? The people. So I always try to use the alarm. I, try, I, always, I always try to use the alarm to keep me active and awake and everything else like that. But, so, that being said, right? Um, yeah, when I check my notification, all this time my shit was getting declined, bro. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. I gotta breathe, like... Musa, I was still stressed out from the first thing that I saw from the overdraft fee that I was just out of it. I didn't even want nothing that had to do with anything. The reason why my shit was getting declined because I had locked my car for security reasons. Say, they said this amount was declined because your debit card is locked. I'm like, no duh, motherfucker. It makes <laughs> it makes sense why your shit was getting declined. So I'm like, damn. So it was a side of relief. I'm like, all right, cool. Oof. Like, I ain't that broke like I thought I was, but I'm still broke. But you know, you're not that. You know, what I mean? if you want something to eat right now, yeah, you can get a few things. You could go grocery shopping, but you're not all the way in the hole. Like, you ain't got to wait until the end of the week <laughs> type shit. I was like, damn. I'm like, ah, right, that makes sense. Once I saw that notification, I wanted to go back and be like, yeah, let me get this, let me get that, let me unlock my shit. But I'm like, you know what? I don't need to do that. Let me just go with what I have already. Stay humble, feel me? Feel me? So I was like, I like this feeling. It kind of humbled me a little bit, brought me back down. 
You know what I mean? It's like that feeling when you think, damn, I'm in a hole for real. Then when you realize the reason, like, oh, your shit was locked. Oh, all right, let, let's, let, let me keep this thinking that I'm in a hole. If, kind of, and I remember, like, ah, right, that's a good look. So, I kind of took care of the problems itself. All the problems that came already, I conquered it. Still got to finish conquering it because that overdrive shit really, that overdrive shit really, you know what I mean? Really got at me, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, you man, that's a whole check of an overdrive type shit. No one of that niggas acting funny with me. I'm like, damn, I'm like, I didn't even know. That behavior was like that since yesterday, so niggas must have known since yesterday. And they probably thought I wasn't gonna make it this morning, but I always gotta keep a little bit of change on me just in case shit like this happen. Yeah, it was, it was bad, man. Yeah, it's bad. Well, yeah, man, it is what it is. But I'm up right now on my way. I'm already actually here. I'm just going through circles around the block. What we talking about? Fiction or we talking about fact? Or we talking about fiction, nigga? Part of my back. Cause I ain't got time for what niggas be talking about all the time. You feel me? I got my own problems, bro. Y'all niggas gotta get your shit together. Nowadays, you got grown ass men checking other men out. So you, y'all gotta pull your pants up. Cause you can't even tell who's who nowadays. Niggas is coming home, man. You, we don't know what's going on, bro. We don't know what they did to our brothers in the inside. But before I even get into anything else, let me finish recapping on what I said. So, recapping doesn't, there's no cap when it comes to recapping. You feel me? So regardless of what they're going to tell you, I wanted to let you guys know first. You feel me? You know what I mean? I, man. I would have been extremely late, bro, if I didn't have what I had. If I ain't push it to the side, feel me? If I wasn't investing regularly. Shout out to um, Robin Hood. You know, if you want to invest, invest with Robin Hood and Stash, Akon, um, Fidelity, um, Vanguard. You know, all these platforms, use them. Because a little bit of money being put away here and there when you need it, you feel me? My recommendation is all the all the companies that I mentioned. You feel me? And most of these companies also have debit cards, so it's not like you have to do a whole transfer to another. And wait these amount of days, and unless it's another account that has a negative like mine, yeah, you gonna have to wait and hopefully wait and hope that you no know, more money's not it's crazy, bro. And these niggas will keep adding money to something. They keep the overdraft fees a crime. It's a crime against me, nigga. It's a, like it's crazy. Like it's like it's crazy. Every transaction they add like thirty five dollars. If it's not more money in there, and this it doesn't even matter if you lock it. Sometimes it's something called ACH, where if you have something set up and it's it's going to take it out right away. It's not going to decline. It's just going. To, so, and every transaction if you don't have nothing in there, they're going to charge you. They're gonna prove it could be a 50 cent charge and they're gonna charge you a $35 overdraft fee. So you could just imagine how much money niggas be taking out your shit. And it's like, yo, I'm not like, why? Why do I like, you feel me? It doesn't make sense, bro. Like, but these companies don't care. They, they're gonna keep charging. Charge, charge, shit, just drawing out. You feel me? So, so sad, but I wanna have to just cancel that part. I need a bank that don't have no overdraft fees, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I need a bank that have no overdraft fees. Like Capital One. Feel me? Capital One won't, won't make it difficult for me just to get into my account and shit like that. Shit crazy, man. But anyway, man. Capital One don't have no no maintenance no maintenance charges so you don't have to pay to be with them 
show the ass, man. I'm trying to see what she has. She's that hot shit right there. I don't even know. Anyway, you know, check it. So, yeah, I fuck. I mean, I've been with TD Banks. I like TD Banks and everything else like that, but... Y'all niggas got to chill with your overdrive fees, man. I need some overdrive fee forgiveness. Oh, my God. Because I've been, I've been, um... It's ridiculous. I need to fly to the moon. Because I be getting charged every day. Yeah, I need some overdraft fee forgiveness, you feel me? Because somebody's charged me overdraft, like, again, no tomorrow, bro. They keep charging you. It doesn't matter if it's in the 200. They keep going. Just disappearing type shit. Like, nigga. Like, fuck, nigga. <laughs> For real, like, damn. So, thank God the way I got my shit set up, man. I can't even get to my goal because there's always a problem. Like, it's like there's always something that sticks his head out. So even if I wanted to bowl, I couldn't. Even, I wouldn't even do that because that would be a mistake. Feel me? That would be like yo. You don't even know you're rainy. It's always a rainy day. It's like it's like having a car and you don't have no money for gas type shit like that. Or you own a home and you ain't got no money put away for appliance. You feel me? That's what I'm thinking. Like, you got to put money away type shit. Yeah, it's very, very important because times like this would have killed me if I didn't do what I, if I don't do what I do on the regular. Niggas would make fun of me for eating noodles and vegetables and everything else, but, bro, like, I don't get caught up even the niggas put this shit in plan. They plan and plan, plan. Feel me? It wouldn't affect you that much. Although the plan work, it still doesn't have the same impact because of the habits that you have created over time and everything else. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I like to. Uh, that's a nice car. Not all those who wonder are lost. Feel me? So yeah, yeah, so I advise you niggas, man, like, it's very, very important that we, we, we start really, really not taking 100% of our paycheck home. It's taking, I realized that I put away in some, in some way, some fashion, at least almost 50% of my paycheck go to something else and the rest is taken home, almost 50 is that it going to some form of insurance? Is going to some kind of like um, medical retirement or some baby mama drama garnishment? When I was looking at my pay stuff, I'm like, damn, like I'm receiving half of my paycheck only on my take home. The other half is going to taxes, insurance, medical. All shit, like stuff like that, you know, investment and all that. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Word, that is crazy. You see what you think, oh, this nigga make a nice nah. But if you take a look at the take home, at the bottom when it said take home pay, I'm like, fuck, what the fuck? What's, and you look, you start looking at each minus, minus two, subtraction, subtraction, subtraction. And you're like, damn, what the fuck is going on out here? But it's necessary, feel me? You can't take all your money home. Yeah, it's necessary. It's a behavior that has to be. It's a behavior that has to be learned type shit like that, feel me? Feel me? So it didn't really affect me like the way it was. It didn't really affect me like the way it's supposed to because, you know, now, oh, I gotta be on my piece and cue so I can build that money back up because I lost today. Yeah, I'm like $300 in the hole, right? almost 300 I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'll be running things so people be like, hey, you lie! All right, calm down. Oh, <laughs> almost 300 240 I round it off because if you break that 100 you might as well spend the whole 100 That's in my mind, like, fuck, nigga, who counts? 
That's how I count it. If I got a hundred dollar bill once, I break that a hundred. If I take a dollar off that hundred, is is keep going down. It does not go back up. Trust me on that. Unless you add to it, but you had to break it. Feel me? So to me, I round it off. I'm three hundred dollars in the hole right now. I gotta get that shit back, man. Feel me? I might have to call them niggas later and see what they can do for me type shit, bro. I'm not gonna hold my breath on these niggas for just subtracting. They just computer wise, like you gotta put humans and they can have some sympathy when they do these charges, but thank God I put these things in place so it's not to the point where I'm so devastated. Like I wouldn't have made it to work today if I didn't have I didn't have these things in place, you feel me? It's a fact. Now let me work back. Go go to work. Make my way to work. This shit is about to go off anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it to work today. I wouldn't have I'd still be on the road right now trying to find what go what goes here, what goes there if I didn't have something. And even last night a nigga just had noodles. Yeah, I had some noodles and this. I just caught it a day. I could have easily ordered out. Feel me? I could have, like, nigga, I can have my feast every day if I wasn't disciplined. Oh, by the way, let's see this right here. Woo! Damn boys got snow. Damn boys got frost. Damn boys got. It's crazy today when I try to go into McDonald's and I describe the top of the mountain as being. A chocolate, a ch a a, 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 a was it a, a frosty cream with the chocolate with the chocolate at the bottom. So when I got to the window, the manager had the same thing, and she just she was overdoing it, like she was just holding it. And I'm like, damn, nigga, like I have no views on that video. How do you know? <laughs> like she was just like, mm. that's why I'm like, mm, I don't like the vibe right now. Like you feel me? It's too early in the morning for you to be having that kind of energy. It's like it's too aggressive, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I just got up, man. When every time I get up, it's like who? It's like I don't want to ask who's mad at me, nigga. I just want to get up and do what I'm supposed to do, you know? Can I at least put my feet down to the carpet at least? Like you feel me? And I just got here and she's doing stuff like that. That's why I'm kind of like, no, let me back out of here slowly. So. Yeah, yesterday I was talking about the mountains looking like a chocolate. What is that? Milkshake chocolate? Some wild shit like that with the cream on top of it. Feel me? The bottom part is brown and the top part is a little bit of fairiness or sprinkleless. You feel me? So, it is what it is, man. You know how we do, man. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? You have to prepare yourself. That's just the message for the day. I didn't want to preach no drama. I just I just go by the things that I just go by the things that you know it is what it is. It's like this is what we gonna go by. It's crazy, man. Like I didn't prepare to spend this much money, but it's okay because the impact is felt. Uh, it's my fault too. You know what I mean? I gotta be. I gotta know when the holiday is and everything. Especially if you're not driving your own car, you're relying on other services and everything else like that. How do I start off blaming? Blaming others. I quickly came to that. I always know that it's my fault, but it's like, it feel good in that moment. Just entertain the idea of just complaining. Sometimes it's healthy. Like, I'm like, man, fuck that, man. These motherfuckers. But eventually, when you come to your senses, you'll be like, yeah, that's my fault. Feel me? When you come to your senses, you be like, yeah, that's my fault, da da da, and that's that. But yeah, I didn't come here to talk about you know investment and savings and things that you gotta do for a rainy day when it seems like rainy days is every day. So I always gotta be saving for a rainy day because it's any given day, it's any given Sunday type shit. You know what I mean? But I had to put a cap on that story and close it out. File closed, case closed on that. Let's get back to these beautiful people who have ugly intentions. These motherfuckers ain't never happy. 
I'm starting to think that some of these niggas and bitches pussy stink. Feel me? There has to be something. It got like we from the outside looking in, we thinking the shit look good, but there's no way you can look that good and be that mad at somebody. You feel me? Something is off with these people. You feel me? Why are you mad? And why are you scared? And why are you intimidated by me? What is it about me that I don't see? Shit, I guess I see beauty in you, but what do you see in me? We need to share those information so we can uplift each other. Cause I think you the most beautiful people, feel me? Or persons. I'm talking about the individuals that be just wanna drive by and shit. I'm like, yo, come on, man, you got a nice car, you a beautiful person. What if, why are you doing what you're doing? You feel me? So we need to uplift each other. You see something in me that intimidates you, and I see beauty in you. So tell me, so we can comfort each other. You feel me? Cause I'm gonna need that pillow at night. <laughs> And you gonna be one. You feel me? But anyway, yeah, man, that's it. But the election is not over. I don't know why these niggas think the election is over. Donald Trump is going to be president. Believe that. You feel me? Today was all right. So I feel like it was going to be. The weather is funny out here, man. It's not the same thing as New York. Most of these, they're so used to the sun that they think this shit is cold. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not bad at all, actually. I'm like, nah, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. But you know, people always think that you got to save for your child and everything. I'm the one who started. I'm the one who thought of that. It wasn't because of your ideas. Because I'm talking about investing and using the money. Yeah, I have a camp for him specially, just for him. I haven't touched that. You feel me? So it's like, please mind your business. You feel me? And if I have to touch it so I can keep going to work, then I'll do so. Cause then you get that back. So it's like, just be quiet. Don't add your two cents to things that the scenarios that you have created. That's, you feel me? I don't like people adding the two cents. Same things you stay out of. People's business and family business. Like, just stay out of it. Have rules of engagement. There are rules to engagement. You feel me? You got to have boundaries. Like you can't just go all in. Then you don't know how all in somebody all in can be. How barbaric can we be? Like, we can be like, you feel me? Like, who's the most barbaric? It's like, there'll be no end to it. So, I know y'all got your chips out and everything else. I thought I was going to be eating chips today. No, I'm not going to eat chips today. I can eat whatever I want to eat still. You feel me? But, good riddance. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to work right now. You feel me? These niggas wake up every day. They surround themselves with what they're going to do to you. Never worrying about what they're going to do with their own self. And that's the sad part. They're too busy worried about what you're going to do and what they're going to stop you from doing you. Every day, bro. If you gotta, you don't have nobody. If you gotta surround yourself with people that you do not like, you feel me? We need to, we need to get that straight. Don't listen to these people, man. They say I'm lonely. I'm this. I'm that. You gotta wear the, you gotta wear a face mask. This is my face mask right here. They tell, they call me all these things. You ain't got nobody. But then you spend so much time around me. I'm starting to ask, do you have anybody? You feel me? Well, let me go in, man. I'll let y'all.